Hello everyone, this is Jesse Guzman with Concentris, and in this short and sweet video, we're going to show the lock feature on a sales order approval workflow. This lock feature is used to lock a transaction uh, when using the workflow feature. And the practical applications of this is, in this very example, we have a sales order that has gone through an approval process. And after it is approved, we do not want users to be able to edit the sales order in any which way. So we go ahead and lock it. As you can see in this workflow, when we end at the approved state, nothing happens. And I've got it here open in a tab where you see that it's still able to edit. In this case, we're not at the approval state but I want you to be able to see that the edit button is still there. Uh, at this point in this workflow history, we are in state one and we had not submitted for approval yet. So what I'd like to show you is to be able to lock the record, what you'll actually do here is you will add a new action and it's fairly straightforward. New action, lock record, and we want this to happen before record load. Go ahead and click save on that. Fairly straightforward. And let's save this workflow state. At this point, let's walk through the submit for approval. So you know, every workflow is slightly different. This is a very basic workflow that is um, done to allow the administrator to approve. As you can see here, we can still edit. Now you can put the lock workflow at any state of the workflow. In this case, we only did it in the approve state of the workflow. And we've just clicked the approve button here. And as you can see, the order has now changed to pending fulfillment as stated by our workflow, but the edit button is now gone because we have locked the record. Now, practical application of this, you typically would want to send a exception here so that someone like the administrator could potentially override it. So when the user role is none of administrator, we would lock this record. And this is the condition that you would set. User role is none of administrator. Obviously you can substitute this for any role that you want to be able to see the record. And now it'll lock the record for everybody else other than the administrator. As you can see, we now have the edit button again, only because we are the administrator. Hope this video was helpful and please check out our website for additional sweet, short and sweet videos. Thank you.